Hi, welcome to Stay Healthy Doctor Talk, Facebook Live at Bangrad International. I'm Dr. Jinda Odompanyavit, Medical Coordination Physician and your host today. Today I have Dr. Piawan Kensaku, who is a leading doctor specialized in surgical oncology. Welcome, doctor. Today we are going to talk about breast cancer, one of the slightly heavy issues that all women feel sometimes very concerned about. Yeah. As always, at the end of our session, we are going to answer some questions that you are welcome to put into the comment box, and we'll try to answer all of them at the end of our live session. Without further ado, I'm going to hand over our session to Dr. Biawan. Thank you, Dr. Jinda. And first of all, I would uh, say about what is breast cancer and what is the cause of breast cancer. Actually, breast cancer is the disease with a cell in the breast where it is growing out of control. There are many types of breast cancer depend on which kind of cell they are growing. Uh, in the breast, that consists of many structures and cells inside it. Mainly, they have three, uh, three parts. Uh, the breast cell, the breast includes of a lot, the gland and the tube and the tissue which support gland and tube. So uh, type of cancer would be different depending on the part of the breast um, with growing. And right now, what is the cause of breast cancer? We don't know what is exactly cause of breast cancer. We just know that what is the risk to develop breast cancer. I would divide into two parts. The one, uh, the first, is uncontrollable factors. For example, um, the woman who have family history of breast cancer or ovarian cancer or another part of cancer would uh, could carry gene, an abnormal gene, or um, the age of starting of uh, menstruation, and the patient who um, specific. Uh, specific nationality, especially ethnic Jewish, who who have high tendency to carry BRCA gene mutation, which could develop uh, more breast cancer than normal people. And another another risk factor, for example, uh, the woman who had been who has stopped late of menopause, and uh, the woman who have who has been taking uh, adjuvant hormone treatment which consists of estrogen and progesterone. And other group is controllable group. For example, the women who have high BMI, the women who who overweight or obese would have more risk to develop breast, breast cancer in normal weight. And the women who, who taking alcohol and smoking and um, have a den best and the women who have a prior exposure of radiation to treat another kind of cancer at least 10 years. Mm, this wow. is the cause, this is a risk factor. That's a lot of risk factors yes. involved yes. and yet even if the women does not have any of these risk factors, can they get cancer in the breast not as well? Or mm -hmm. of the women who carry breast cancer would develop breast cancer, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean the the woman who 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 doesn't have any risk factor would not develop cancer. Mm. Yes, it's just risk. Yeah, it's okay. just the risk to help us see that there's incidence higher in this group. Yes, but doesn't mean that those who don't have risk correct will not have the cancer. Yes, yes. yes. thank you. Well, what are the incidences that you have found um, about breast cancers? Can you? Sh Maybe okay. discuss more about that. Okay, and the data we have got, I would refer to the data from Global Can. The incidence of breast cancer is the highest in the uh, the breast cancer is high at incidence uh, in the woman or age or age group, or not or age group in the woman worldwide. And um, when we compare that, uh, we found that the women who develop cancer 
in Asian population, uh, the incident is lower than Europe mm. uh, or Caucasian population. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we can see that as well, yeah. that this is more common in the Western world. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are the symptoms of breast cancer? There are, these this are warning signs of breast cancer, but uh, for example, the, the women who, have, uh, who feel the lump in her breast or even in her armpit, or the women who had a pulling nipple or any skin retraction, and the women who have um, fluid, from her nipple, except the milk color. It, it could be in any color. Uh, if the discharge is in blood color, have more risk to be cancer more than other color of the discharge. And, there, and some uh, symptoms, for example, the size of the breast different in one size, and it get bigger, or the texture of the skin changing. Mm -hmm. But however, this symptoms doesn't mean um, that would have cancer. It could be because of from uh, not cancer cause, but however, you should to check. Mm -hmm. okay. So at any point, you're saying if there's something that changed in yeah. how your breasts look, you know, whether the skin is different from before or there's a different size or you feel something yeah. or there's some discharge that's coming out, yeah. whether it's cancer or not, should really come and check it out. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay, so that is coming to our breast cancer screening. Um, if you, they come, uh, what's your recommendation about how we can check on this and screen? Actually, I would divide the, the woman in two groups. The, mm. first, the, the first group is the woman uh, who come with symptoms. Not, uh, when women come with symptoms, we have to check, we have to make sure, uh, not depend on her age, but however, in a woman who in, we call that in average risk, when would you start? From the data, they say that um, screening of breast cancer could reduce rate of die of breast cancer around 30 to 50 percent. Mm -hmm. uh, the age of start of screening is quite vary depend on data in each country, but um, most of the guidelines they recommend to start mammogram for screening of cancer at age of 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So before uh, that time, that 40 years old, and you're gonna do mammogram. Yes. And and how often you do the mammogram after 40? I this this way is depend on any guideline, mm -hmm. but um, I in 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 most guideline they, they recommend to do annually. I mean every year. Every year. Yes. Okay. And our and ultrasound could be at on in the woman who have then spread or mammogram have something to do to, to identify, for example, to, to different between um, mass and cyst inside mm. the breast. Mm. We may need uh, further imaging to, to clear it. Mm. But what about before 40 years old? Uh, before 40 years old, we can do all the sound. Mm. And of course, like what you said, we should check our breasts. And, yes. and how do we do that? Uh, the breast? You, you mean a cell breast examination? Yeah. Okay. At home, uh, I suggest to do cell breast examination just one time a month. Mm. Uh, the optimal time is around one week before the first day of your, last, of, of your period mm. and then count around one week. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when you take your clothes off, your clothes off, and before you do take a shower, you you should see in the mirror anything change in uh, in your skin or shape of the breast. So and you go in front of the mirror and yes. look. Yes. With your clothes off. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, you you might see if you see something wrong, and that at that side you you should to do uh, examination. The the way to do examination. In the people, in the woman who has small size of bread, you should to lift your hand mm -hmm. at the side uh, to be examined, and then use other side, other hand to to palpate it. You should to use one uh, three finger to feel it mm -hmm. and compress your chest wall. Mm -hmm. Do not use tip of finger, mm -hmm. and then you have to uh, palpate all of your breast area. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And also, if, if you can, you should to do power pit on the long pit as well. Ah, breast and armpit. Yes. Mm -hmm. On both sides. Yes, on both sides. This is one week before the first uh, menstruation. After. Uh, after, after the yes. first menstruation. Ah, okay. Very nice. And we should do this every month. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can start to do a cell blood examination at 25. At 25? Yes. Okay. Well, that was very informative indeed. So how is breast cancer um, diagnosed? Uh, breast cancer diagnosed in many, many tests. We, it, it, we, we would do many tests, uh, consists of examination, breast imaging. The main of imaging is mammogram and or ultrasound. Any other imaging depends on the patient condition. And Tissue diagnosis is the most important because only tissue, like, tissue biopsy could identify, could diagnose is, is it cancer or not. Mm. How do we get this tissue diagnosis? I'm, it's, I'm not sure if the audience understand how that comes okay. about. It could be done in many ways. Mm. Um, it consists of two many parts. Uh, mostly, r right now we, we recommend to do needle biopsy. I mean. Um, put a needle to take a small size of the tissue to test. But uh, previously, we, we have another option to do biopsy. For example, remove entire of the mass mm. to test. We call that uh, excision. Oh. So if in case I, I want to slow it down mm -hmm. a bit, uh, the first thing is to feel that there's something different and look at it that there's something different on the outside yeah. and then we confirm by doing imaging yes. whether it's mammogram and plus ultrasound this will even more confirm because the imaging will show a very specific pattern that tells us that this is most likely a cancer and then of course we still need to confirm because we will not uh, you know suddenly say you have cancer unless we're very sure and that is getting the real tissue uh -huh. because uh, and that's through different ways, like you said, the needle, or maybe even to get that whole mass out yes, and then yes. send it for a tissue diagnosis or the pathology. And in this pathology, um, then there's different things to see, isn't it? Like uh, the cells and... Actually, um, if you use a big needle, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean core needle, we'll see, mm -hmm. uh, with an and, and excision, the, the way to test and to see is quite not different, mm -hmm. it's the same. Same, and yes. you just look at the cells and to know which kind of, because we have different kinds of breast cancer yes. too, right? Mm -hmm. from, from the big needle, from the carb biopsy, we also can see the structure of it. Ah. It's not only the cell component, it's also considered the structure. Mm. Is knowing the tissue and the specific types of breast cancer important? Yes, very important, mm -hmm. uh, because it could affect the way to treat the patient. Mm, and that comes to our treatment options. Can you let us know a bit about how can breast cancer is treated? Uh, right now, there are many there are uh, uh, many modalities to treat of breast cancer, which um, it consists of surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, targeted therapy, hormone treatment, or another kind of treatment. And even in the patient who has early cancer, we, we might still need um, many modality to treat the patient to reach um, the kill rate to the highest. So uh, this is uh, the, 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 the option, the modality of treatment would be depend on the patient stage and subtype of the patient and also what patient needs as well. Yeah, and this is the confusion sometimes I think patients have when uh -huh. they're reading about their breast cancer because there's so many of these names coming up like chemo and radiation and surgery, but uh, they might not really understand like how, what, what are the relationship of all these treatment options and how do you decide on what to use or what, how, what are their uses and benefits and how are they different? Okay, yeah. so, so um, when the patient was like that, diagnosed cancer, yes. what we, we have to know is what is the stage of the patient. Is this disease still in the breast mm -hmm. or go to the lymph nodes and the armpit are already spread out? 
Mm. Or and another we would like to know a subtype of the breast. Mm. Uh, we would send the tissue, the biopsy tissue, to test. We call it that uh, that is immunohistochemistry mm. to identify um, receptor. The main there are four main receptor mm. which we send is estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, KI sixty seven is it proliferative index and HER2 receptor. Oh. And then uh, we These would receptors will indicate uh, something, doctor? Yes, it would affect you mm. to, to see what kind of uh, systemic treatment, I mean the, the treatment we give to the patient to, to kill uh, cancer or enter their body. Mm. It depends on the, the, the option of treatment would mm. depend on this receptor. Like the selection of different chemo yeah. or immunological yeah. treatment. Yeah. Or, um, so I'm hearing that there's like the stage. Yeah. And there's many stages for breast cancer? In breast cancer, there are four stages. Ah. Um, Which you were talking about, like, is it just in the breast? Yeah. Or goes to the lymph nodes? Yeah. So, so can you give the details about that? Okay. Mm. It's, it's, not, it's not four stages, it's five stages. Five stage. The first stage zero. The stage mm. zero does mean the cancer is still inside the milk duct. Mm. We call that, uh, we call when the biopsy doctor would report that carcinoma inside the, mm. or cancer inside the duct, not uh, go out the duct yet. Yes. And stage one, stage two, mm. is the cancer still inside the breast, but it would be different depending on the size of the tumor. Mm. And stage three, that means cancer already go to lymph node, ah. or there are the cancers uh, involved of the skin or chest wall muscle, it would be in this stage. And stage four, the cancer already spread to another organ. Other organs, yes. like the, what organs do they usually go to? Do the, is it vary? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the most common organ with cancer would mostly go is lung, oh, liver, lung, bone, mm -hmm. and vein. Mm, yes. I see, I see. So that is the staging, yes. and each stage has a, uh, what, what is the difference for each stage? What do we need to be concerned that uh, there's in different stages? That means um, more states have lower survival rate. Mm, mm. So the earlier a patient come and have like just stage zero or stage one, yes. it's much better uh, yes. survival outcome, yes. Yes, easier to treat as yes. well. Yes, mm. and maybe need um, less modality than late stage. Mm. And then the tissue diagnosis, which shows the different subtype, adds into the variety of how we're going to really treat. Yes. And this is a very specific and very t a high technology way to know that this is how we're going to treat each different type of cancer. But in general, we must understand the stages first. Yes, ah. yes. And, uh, of course, at the beginning, when they're going to treat, there's many options, whether to do surgery first or to do... Okay, uh, systemic treatment first. first systemic uh -huh. treatment, um, it could be consist of chemotherapy alone or targeted, like mm -hmm. um, her to target, her to target. And treatment. then sometimes we have like whether to take out the mass, the entire thing, or take out the whole breast. Yes. So there's so many different type of treatments available yes. too yes. and different ways of making decisions on that. How does that work for the patient and the doctor? How, what would be your advice about selecting different treatments? Um, I would discuss about option of surgery mm. and you have to talk to your surgeon mm. what, what kind of surgery you have to receive, you choose to receive and what, which one is the most proper option for you and what you need. Mm. Please communicate with your doctor. Mm. And we, we actually we have many options to do to treat you, but um, better to, to talk with doctor. Mm. A lot of patients like to ask me when I'm doing rounds with them that, what's the best way, doctor? You know? Actually, I think there are no best way for all patients. Mm. So you have to find the best the best option for you. With discussing with your doctor. Mm, because it depends on many factors, yes, right? Of the course. stage, the subtype, um, different designs. So yes. that's why, because some patients would say, well, my friend who is yeah. like, uh, had the same stage, 
Why is it that they are not doing the same as me? Am I doing something wrong? Yeah. Because because you have something dif dif different from mm. your brain. Mm. That's why doctors suggest different options. Mm. I think. And what are the treatment available in Bamrungrad? Do you know? In Bamrungrad, we have a, we ha I think we have all of the modality for treat breast cancer patient. We have a team for the surgery mm -hmm. and also oncoplastic team to make to make your new breast mm -hmm. uh, look better and we also have a medical oncologist team which helped to give you about the systemic treatment mm -hmm. chemotherapy targeted hormonal treatment and we also have a radio radiologist and radiation team to to give you radiation and we also have another support support team we have pathologists we have um, radio diagnosis we have team with um, could solve all of your problem here. Wow, that's a really big multidisciplinary team, yes. which is so important uh, in helping patients and uh, deal with the cancer. Yes. Uh, in having many modalities, does that affect the survival rate? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. how, how so? Um, actually, in we need we need more modality. We need uh, to when when we cut when we do surgery, the mo the survival rate would be something like this. When we add other modality, for example, chemotherapy or radiation, the survival would be higher. That's why we need multidisciplinary team. Ah, uh, so I understand now. The 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 tumor itself has a lot of cancer cell. Yes. And the first thing we'll do is try to reduce that cancer yes. load by cutting it out. That's the fastest and surest way, right? Yes. Uh, but of course, we'll have to see if we can cut it and how we will do that. Mm. And then after that, we have to deal with the rest of the cancer yes. in other ways, like maybe if it's spread, then we will use a systemic yes. way, like the chemo or immuno. But uh, sometimes if it's localized, then we do some radiation. Yes, yes. This is something that we need to design. Right? <laughs> yeah, we need mm -hmm. to design. Yeah. So, um, do we have a good success story that we can share? Yes, absolutely. We have a lot of success story. This mm -hmm. one is one of our story. Mm -hmm. So. If you ask me, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of หน้าตาต่างกันไหมก็ต้องตอบว่าไม่ต่างนะคะแต่ว่าสิ่งที่ต่างกันก็คือความซับซ้อนแล้วก็รายละเอียดของผลการตรวจชิ้นเนื้อที่เราต้องให้กับผู้ป่วยพาทอลจิสหรือว่าพยาธิแพทย์เนี่ยนะคะก็คือแพทย์ที่ทำหน้าที่ในการวิจัยโรคของผู้ป่วยจากชิ้นเนื้อนะคะถ้าในแง่ของมะเร็งเนี่ยหน้าที่หลักของเราก็คือบอกว่าคนคนนี้เป็นหรือไม่เป็นมะเร็งถ้าเป็นมะเร็งเนี่ยเป็นมะเร็งชนิดอะไรระยะไหนเราก็จะทํางานอยู่เบื้องหลังนะคะเราแทบจะไม่ค่อยได้พบกับผู้ป่วยโดยตรงแต่ว่าเราก็จะรู้จักผู้ป่วยของเราเนี่ยผ่านสไลด์ชิ้นเนื้อขนาด3ไมครอนของเขาผลการตรวจชิ้นเนื้อที่เราให้เนี่ยเป็นเหมือนจุดเริ่มต้นของการรักษามะเร็งนะคะที่หลายคนอาจจะไม่รู้ว่าไม่ได้มีคุณหมอที่ดูแลแค่คนเดียวนะคะมีบุคลากรทางการแพทย์อีกหลายแผนกที่เข้ามามีส่วนร่วมในการดูแลผู้รักษาผู้ป่วยรายหนึ่งก็ไม่มีดิสแอนเมทาเซซิสนะครับที่แต่ก่อนหน้านี้ก็คงต้องเร่งรีบไปส่งการผ่าตัดให้เร็วที่สุดนะคะมะเร็งมันไม่ได้เลือกที่จะเกิดกับใครไม่เลือกอายุเพศเชื้อชาติไม่เลือกอาชีพนะคะแม้กระทั่งกับคนเป็นหมอก็เป็นมะเร็งได้แต่มันมีอยู่ก้อนหนึ่งที่ค่อนข้างที่จะซีเรียสและน่าน่าเป็นห่วงเลยอย่างที่เราทำทูเมอร์บอดกันโดยเหตุแบบนี้เนี่ยก็อยู่ในคาลิฟอร์เนียละเราดูสไลด์ผู้ป่วยมะเร็งเยอะแยะมากมายแต่ก็ไม่เคยคิดว่าวันหนึ่งเราต้องมาดูสไลด์ชิ้นเนื้อตัวเองเ
ในเมื่อเราเลือกที่จะไม่เป็นมะเร็งไม่ได้เราต้องเลือกที่จะรักษาได้เลือกวิธีที่เหมาะกับเราเลือกคนที่จะดูแลเราเข้าใจเราเลือกที่จะมีความหวังแล้วก็ส่งต่อความหวังนี้ให้กับคนอื่นทุกวันนี้เวลาที่เราทำงานเราดูสไลด์ชิ้นเนื้อของผู้ป่วยมะเร็งเนี่ยเราก็พยายามเราก็จะคิดว่าอยากให้เขาผ่านช่วงเวลาที่ยากลำบากไปให้ได้นะคะแล้วก็อยากบอกทุกคนว่ามะเร็งมันไม่ใช่เดสเซนเทนส์นะคะมันไม่ใช่วาระสุดท้ายของชีวิตเรายังมีความสุขกับชีวิตได้เพราะว่าเราไม่ได้สู้มะเร็งคนเดียวนะคะเรามีครอบครัวเรามีคนที่เรารักเรามีคุณหมอแล้วก็เรามีคนอีกมากมายที่พร้อมจะสู้ไปกับเราเพื่อให้รอยยิ้มของเรากลับมาอีกครั้งวิธี absolute list uh, absolute uh, cause of breast cancer but how to prevent we can reduce the risk with we can adjust it mm. for example you should to control your weight mm. in normal weight mm. <laughs> so hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes i know <laughs> but how i will try it mm -hmm. you have to take less of alcohol mm. and do not smoke mm. and um and Uh, I think another way you should to do regular exercise. Um, right now, that that they said that exercise could be reduce risk to develop cancer as well. Mm. Yes. Any exercise? Yes. Mm. Any weight could be weight training or mm. aerobic exercise, but to do regular exercise. Regular is yes. the key. Yes. Okay. And is there any side effect from doing mammogram every year? Actually, um, what we concern, what what of the people concern is. According to mammogram, is X-ray of the breast. They are afraid of the radiation will receive. Yes. But however, the dose for the mammogram is very low. Mm. So I think risk is very very low. Mm. Benefits is very much than risk. Mm. So I think it's quite safe. Yeah, in, especially if the benefit is to diagnose, yes. detect the cancer early, yes. increasing chance of survival. Yeah. Okay, and. Another one from the audience. How long can uh, we have breast cancer without knowing? Uh, like we question. have it in <laughs> our body, but we didn't know how long will that? Yeah, most of my patients ask me that question, and I answer them that I don't know <laughs> 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 because we cannot predict right now. We cannot predict how long it had occurred mm -hmm. because. Um, Breast cancer have different types mm. and different aggressiveness. The mm. rate of increase in size would different in each patient. Mm. So we could not 
Could we I tell think. that if you have an aggressive cancer, you might have been having it not too long, and then if mm -hmm. it's slow cancer, then it's like yes. maybe it's been many, many years slowly yes. forming? Yes, it's, we could predict, mm -hmm. but we don't know. What. Exactly. Yes. Ah, we can kind of guess. Just guess, yeah. Guess. A scientific guess. Yes. <laughs> okay. And is there a breast cancer in men? Hmm? Yes. Oh. But the incidence is very low than women. So do they have to do mammogram every year? No. <laughs> because <laughs> why? Why men, men don't have to do mammogram every year? Because mm. uh, the screening, we have to think about cost effectiveness. Mm. If we screen in a, a, a large amount of people and just detect one or two person, it's, it's, it's not, oh. it, it should not do. It should not be done. So in the man, how, how can they know they, they, they had cancer? Yes. Um, most of the symptoms mm. in breast cancer in men is palpable lump. Mm, yeah, Especially in the, in the center, in the middle of the breast. So, when so they should check too? Yes. Oh. Actually, in men, it's easy to check, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and do they have to check every month? Like no, women? no, no. Okay. <laughs> so they just have to check every once in a while, yes. look in the mirror sometimes to yes. see if there's anything weird. Yes. Mm, and do they have like, uh, do they have the same survival rate and things like that? According to incident rate, it's very low. So we don't have, we don't have exactly data of incident rate, but, oh. but we think it's not different. Oh, because men don't really have a lot of breast cancer, yes. so we don't have that yes. much data yes. to, to really have a summary of what yes. it is. Yes, mm -hmm. but however, the treatment of cancer in men mm -hmm. is quite the same to the woman. Same kind of treatment, Yes. same approach. Yes. Ah, we have some more questions here. What are the chances of having cancer if there is family history of cancer? Like any cancer, I probably think. It's hard to answer this question. <laughs> it depends on, uh, we believe the family history of cancer would carry some gene. We could develop cancer in the future. I think it's, it's depend on which gene um, it's, it's, uh, you have carry in your family. Mm. So I cannot answer about this question. Oh, but we have genetic tests yes. in Bumerang yes, uh, yes. available. Would this help? In any way? Of course. Ah, so maybe just if they're really curious and want to be proactive, yeah. you can take some genetic yeah. tests. If you have family history of cancer, especially breast cancer or ovarian cancer, mm -hmm. um, uh, if you have, I, th I suggest to come to consult geneticists mm -hmm. about um, the benefits of genetic testing. Mm -hmm. Is it necessary or not? And then you can proceed to do, to, to, to do the test. Mm. If they say it, uh, you should too. Mm, then should do. Yeah. So yeah, everything is about talking and trying yeah. to find out because it's very specific, yes. isn't it? Yes. Uh, is there an age limit for the mammogram? Limit? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> do you do mammogram <laughs> all your life? Or this, is there like <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs> um, in American, some guidelines they recommend to to screening mammogram until age of seventy five, mm. and some guidelines they suggest to to do mammogram screening until ten year. What is called uh, we predict uh, this woman could not alive more than ten years. So stop screening. Mm. Oh. <laughs> How many we don't know? know. So Predict don't when we're gonna, you know, yes. our yeah. life expectancy. Yes. Mm, that is hard, yes, for sure. So maybe go with the 75, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to talk to your doctor about it. Uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah. So we were, they were saying starting from what age is ideal to do yearly mammogram. We already answered that. 40 yes, years. 40 old. years. Yeah. And yeah, what age we can do mammogram, how long we can do, we already answered that. Yeah. So. That is all the questions I have here. Well, I think last but not least, I'd like to ask a question. What lesson in all of the experiences, I'm sure as a surgeon, looking after patients, especially breast cancer, I know you do many other types of uh, diseases as well, but in your experience of doing breast cancer, treating them, taking care of patients and their families, what lessons or what what word would you like to share with your audience today as to from well, your experience? Well, I would like, I, I want to say like Dr. Simone Ma said, um, cancer is not death sentence. It doesn't mean once you, diag you are diagnosed cancer and your life will be stopped. Mm. We and our team 
I'm, I mean, um, cancer, uh, a multidisciplinary team would help you to back to your normal life. Wow, that's so powerful. And I so agree with uh, Dr. Biawan on this, that there is hope and there is a very specific way of how we can work together so that we could achieve success in yeah. treating cancer. So it may be shocking at first to know you have cancer, but after that, we have a way, a solution. Yes. yes. Well, I am so glad to have a talk to you today, Dr. Bia Wan. And if patients, you know, some of them are quite scared to come to our hospital and still want to, you know, consult with you, do you do any live I, consultations? It would be welcome yes. to talk to you. Mm, so telemedicine is still an option for any of you who can't uh, come to the hospital for any reason or don't prefer to at this time of COVID you can always uh, ask in to set, a, set up an appointment okay. with Dr. Yes. Fia Wan. Yes. Okay, so if you have any more questions, you can definitely uh, comment in and we will definitely try to answer you. And thank you so much for giving us this time and I hope you enjoy our session and see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Sawadee